Hey guys, welcome back to Cyber Platter. Today we'll learn the difference between SAST, DAST, IAST, RASP, and SCA. If you want to know about these individual topics, then we have different videos where I talk in detail about these testing methodologies. I will link that in the description box. You can go through them. SAST stands for Static Application Security Testing. DAST is Dynamic Application Security Testing. IAST is Interactive Application Security Testing. RASP is Runtime Application Self-Protection. SCA is Software Composition Analysis. All of these are different approaches to identifying and mitigating security vulnerabilities in software applications. Let's see the comparison now. The first aspect of comparison is testing stage. SAST is static analysis and it is done pre-runtime. That is, it analyzes the source code or binaries before the application is executed. Next is DAST. DAST is dynamic analysis and it is done at runtime. That is, it tests the application in a running state, typically after the development and during the testing phase. IAST is hybrid approach. That is, it combines elements of both static, that is pre-runtime and dynamic, that is runtime testing. RASP's testing stage is at the runtime it operates during the application's runtime. That is, it operates during the application's runtime, monitoring and protecting the application as it runs. SCA is pre runtime. That is, it identifies vulnerabilities in third party components before they are integrated into the code base. Next aspect of comparison is analysis type. SAST is white box testing as it has full access to the application's code. SAST is black box testing as it examines the application externally like a hacker would. IAST is gray box testing. It combines aspects of both white box and black box testing. RASP, it depends on the implementation. That is, it can be white box or black box depending on its implementation. It can inspect code and respond to runtime threats. SCA is white box testing. It analyzes the third party component dependencies. Next aspect of comparison is scope. SAST examines the application source code or binaries. DAST tests the running application, focusing on how it behaves externally. IAST examines code and runtime data, providing insights into both of them. RASP protects applications when it is running by actively monitoring and intervening. SCA analyzes third-party libraries and components for any known vulnerabilities. Next aspect of comparison is false positives. SAST may generate some false positives as it analyzes code static statically. DAST tends to have fewer false positives as it tests the applications dynamically. IAST typically has fewer false positives compared to SAST due to its combination of static and dynamic analysis. RASP may generate possible false positives depending on its configured rules. SCA may report issues that aren't vulnerabilities depending on the quality of vulnerability databases. Next aspect of comparison is deployment. SAS is integrated into the CI-CD pipelines for early bug identification. DAST is usually used post-development and pre-production. IAST is integrated into CI-CD pipelines providing continuous security feedback. RASP is deployed in the production environment to protect against runtime attacks. SCA is integrated into development and build processes to assess third-party components. Next aspect of comparison is 
ease of use. SAS may require setup and tuning to understand the application's code base and coding standards. TAS is easier to set up as it interacts with the application externally. IAS is easier to set up than SAS due to its hybrid nature. RASP requires integration and configuration but can be relatively straightforward. SCA is generally easy to set up and integrate into the development process. Next aspect of comparison is vulnerability types. SAST identifies code level vulnerabilities such as injection flaws, insecure coding practices, and code smells. DAST identifies runtime vulnerabilities, including configuration issues and known vulnerabilities. IAST detects vulnerabilities in both code and data, including runtime data related issues. RASP monitors and mitigates various threats at runtime offering broader protection. SCA identifies known security issues in third-party libraries and components. Next aspect of comparison is performance impact. SAS typically has a low performance impact since it analyzes code statically, that is when the application is not running. DAST can impact application performance as it interacts with the running application. IAST has moderate impact on the performance due to its combination of static and dynamic analysis. RASP has minimal impact on application performance. SCA has a negligible impact on performance as it primarily scans metadata and dependency information. Next aspect of comparison is real-time protection. SAST, DAST, and IAST do not provide real-time protection. They are primarily testing or analysis tools. RASP provides real-time protection by actively monitoring and responding to threats during application execution. SCA does not provide real-time protection but helps in identifying and managing vulnerabilities in third-party components before integration. Next aspect of comparison is common use cases. SAS is used for early bug identification and code quality improvement during development. DAST is used for testing web apps and APIs in a post-development phase. IAST provides continuous security monitoring during the development lifecycle. RASP is used for real-time protection against attacks in a production environment. SCA is used to identify and manage open source vulnerabilities in third-party components. Next aspect of comparison is tools. For SAST, you can use tools like Fortify, Checkmarks, and Veracode. For DAST, you can use tools like OWASP Zap, Burp Suite, and Nessus. For IAST, you can use tools like Contrast Security and HDIF. For RASP, you can use tools like Imperva, App Spider, and F5 ASM. For SEA, you can use tools like Sonar Cube, Black Duck, and Sync. So, this is the comparison between the five concepts. So, to summarize, SAST is used for identifying code level vulnerabilities and security issues in the application's source code or binaries. DAST is employed to test running applications and discover runtime vulnerabilities, misconfigurations, and known security issues. IAST combines static and dynamic analysis to detect vulnerabilities in both code and runtime data. RASP is designed for real-time protection of applications during runtime, actively monitoring and mitigating security threats. SEA focuses on identifying known vulnerabilities in third-party components, libraries, and dependencies. So that's it for today, guys. I hope this video helped you understand the differences or provide you a comparison between these techniques. I don't know if you can take a screenshot of it. 
so that it's helpful thank you so much for watching i will see you in another video with another topic until then take care of yourselves bye bye